Hey all, this is the Tech Buyers Guru here with a quick installation video featuring AMD's new Athlon processor with Radeon Vega Graphics. Specifically, we have the Athlon 200GE here. This is a 3.2 gigahertz, two core, four thread processor. It comes in around $60, making it an absolutely great value for anyone looking to build a PC with integrated graphics at a low cost. Now, this is technically called an APU by AMD, but for all intents and purposes, it's really just a CPU with integrated graphics. So uh, that's I'm gonna I may refer to it as a CPU as I go along. Now, what we have here is AMD's AM4 socket. This is a socket that was introduced in 2017 for the Ryzen line of processors. It uses a very simple clamping mechanism. The socket slides over so that the pins eventually make contact once it's in place. There's nothing here that I can damage unless I really tried. This is just a plastic cover. Now, where you'll actually find the pins is on the CPU. The CPU comes packaged inside the box in, in a plastic tray to keep it safe. I'll take that out now. Okay, here it is. Now this does have a number of pins on it, but unlike Intel's pins, these pins are actually hard. You, you, it's very difficult to bend these. I'm touching these and I'm not damaging them. Now I don't necessarily recommend you do that, but you can touch these pins. Uh, they do not bend with a, with a small touch of the finger, which is great because that's different from Intel's pins. So we're going to drop this into place. The first thing we're going to do is lift up that latch to unlock the socket. Then we put the CPU in place. You always want to make sure that you have it oriented correctly. And actually, although you might think that the CPU goes in with the wording facing uh, right side up, that's incorrect. I don't know why AMD did this, but its sock is actually turned on its side. Now you can tell that because there's a little gold triangle here. That lines up with a triangle in the socket that's over here, which means I have to rotate my CPU. All right, so now the wording of the CPU is sideways, and that may bother some people, but that's how AMD designed it. So I'm going to go ahead and place it in the socket. It dropped right in. All right, now to lock it, I just lower the latch. You'll see the CPU move slightly as it locks into position. And now the CPU is in place. I cannot pull it out. Now the next thing to do is install the included CPU cooler. Now with the Athlon line, AMD is including a very, very uh, low cost cooler. Uh, this does have pre-applied thermal uh, material or thermal interface material on, on the bottom. It's a small cooler. I believe it is about 40 six millimeters tall. In fact, just for people who are interested in this and for a, for a small form factor build, I'm going to measure it right on camera here. It is 30, 39 millimeters. Okay, I'm wrong and I'm glad I measured that for you all. 39 millimeters means it'll fit in just about any CP, uh, uh, PC case on the market. So let's place this in position. The, the brackets are actually already pre-installed on most uh, AMD based motherboards. So I'll just hook these little latches over the catches on each side. And I flip the latch to lock it down. It's really, really simple. It's locked in place. Last thing to do is attach the four pin PD, uh, PWM connector, the power connector to the CPU fan header on the motherboard, which is conveniently located right next to it. I should note that this is actually a B350 based motherboard, which is an older uh, motherboard released in 2007 along with the original, uh, the original Ryzen line. The great thing about AMD's socket and its processor lines is that they keep updating the chipsets with new firmware to support new CPUs. So although this CPU was released in late 2018. It should work fine with this 2017 motherboard. It's again something that Intel is a little bit behind on where they're constantly changing the chipsets and not supporting 
new processors with those chipsets. Now the, the last thing I'll mention is if you have an older motherboard that you bought a long time ago, you may need a firmware update. This is a, a new shipment of the AB350, so I'm hoping it has the firmware uh, pre-installed to support this new CPU. I will be back in a minute to show you this system running. All right, I'm back. It didn't take much effort to get this system up and running. All I did was press the power button and uh, the system started up, no problem. The Gigabyte B350 motherboard did have the latest uh, firmware update. I think it's F25. And I got into Windows without any problem. But you do need to install some additional software from your motherboard vendor site. In this case, it's Gigabyte here. Uh, to get the full functionality out of an Athlon APU. As you can see, the resolution of the screen is, is not that sharp. It's defaulted to 1024 by 768. So I'm going to install the AMD chipset driver uh, to get the full graphic support from this APU. I've already downloaded it. This is AMD software and uh, direct from AMD. So although it's on the Gigabyte website, this is AMD's chipset software, so you can trust it. Now it's going to be installing the software. It says current software, Radeon software, is not installed. So that, of course, is why we are seeing a, a, a low resolution display and why the APU is not working at uh, full resolution. Now we can, uh, okay, we can download, we can install the Radeon software Adrenaline Edition that's here, or download and install a new version. I'm not going to go with that optional version. That might enhance gaming performance slightly, but it's a big download. So I'm just going to go with what we have downloaded. I'm going to do an express install. Now I do actually have a PCIe solid state drive in this system, so it's pretty quick to install. If you were doing this on a hard drive, this would take a really long time. All right, the software is installed and it says uh, restart now. So I'm gonna restart it and I'll come back to you in a moment. All right, I'm back. As you can see, the resolution is correct now. Uh, it defaulted now to 1080p. Everything's working fine. Let's take a look at the display settings. 1920 by 1080, which is the full resolution of this monitor. So all I needed to do to get my onboard graphics to work was to install the chipset driver. So make sure you do that. Um, it also allows sleep. If you don't have your chipset drivers installed, you actually can't sleep the PC either. So you'll know that that's, that's an indication that you don't have your chipset drivers installed on your system. I do want to make note of one little tip, kind of a trick, I guess you could say. Um, this is the 200 GE. Uh, Radeon uh, with Radeon graphics, but it's running at above the rated speed, and that's because I've actually overclocked it in the UEFI BIOS. And this is not officially supported by AMD, so this is kind of a do this at your own risk. But if you can see here in the Windows 10 system information, this 200 GE is is running at 3.79 gigahertz right here all right so um, you can do it uh, uh, AMD is not going to support you if you do it but it does work gigabyte supports it in the motherboard software and probably most other uh, B350 and B450 motherboards will support that easy change to a higher speed and 3.8 gigahertz is probably about as fast as it'll go just for comparison purposes the fastest of the Athlon processors is the 240GE and that's rated at 3.5 gigahertz. So you can go ahead and get the 200GE and if you're savvy about overclocking you can get it to go faster than the 240GE for no money at all. So this is the system. Um, I'm going to have a performance review on the Tech Buyers Guru website. 
soon and I'll link to that in the comments below when that's ready. But for now, this is Ari from the Tech Buyers Guru and I'll catch you next time.